Hello there, I'm Ben Crispin. I come to Ghana. I go on in Brussels and Vandag. I go spread over Mensen, Warnen in Belgium. Uh, despite me, as in Netherlands, it's not good or you can even help me. Netherlands, it's not my fault. Eh? <laughs> I spread claim in Netherlands. But as I spread drag with me, I will help you, okay? And despite me, as in Netherlands, it's not good. Very start, they help me, okay? Enough of the Netherlands. <laughs> I'm going to speak English, okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's someone here, Crispin, and <laughs> welcome back to 360 degrees. Crispin, you know, today we're going to be doing something different. I'm going to talk about some fun facts about Belgians, okay? So I know this video, a lot of people are going to have like mixed feelings, but trust me, I'm going to be nice. I'm not going to say anything that is not there, okay? So if you really want to know this topic very well and you are so, so interested, don't go anywhere. I got you covered. I'll be right back. Welcome back, Crispinators. In case you just joined to my channel, this is the Crispin360, of course. If you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Tell your friends and family, okay? Because I need them. I want your friends, your family members to come and join the family, okay? So we can all be Crispinators, you know? So, yes, today's topic is about fun facts about Belgians, okay? Now, I've been living in Belgium for only three years, okay? So I'm going to be talking from my experience, personal like experience, not from what someone told me. It's what I have seen or what I have experienced or felt. So, Let's jump right into it. I'm gonna actually I'm gonna be talking about some facts. I'm not gonna be numbering because I might forget some. So I will just say the numbers as I speak. Okay, guys, let's just jump into the first one. And the first one is Belgians are not easily open up. I mean, they don't let foreigners or strange people come into your circle. I mean, it's not because they don't like foreigners. No, that's not the case. Okay, that's their culture. Maybe let me just say that's the culture. You know, they just like to warm up to people it could take years before they warm up to you especially with colleagues it is very difficult for them to actually open up for a new one to just enter they prefer to be friends with their own um classmates colleagues and you know yeah even with colleagues it's the same thing okay they feel more comfortable i don't want to say it's insecure it's not insecure but that's how they are unlike we africans we can just go to a new place and start making friends just like you know well always like the reflex it just happens like that with belgians no 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 it takes a whole village it they have like they have to take like a baby step you know and in the beginning i really didn't understand why it was like that but after living here for a while i kind of understand the drill behind it you understand so if you are in this situation with me or you are kind of in the same situation as i'm talking about right now just don't take them in the wrong way or anything that's just how they are it's not because they're they are antisocial or something they are very social of course, I can boost off two or three Belgian friends that I know that they are very, very, very like. They are, you know, I'm very hyper guy, right? So all my friends are very hyper energetic guys, you understand? They are very cool, actually, because like we chill and we vibe, we go to the parties and all that. They are very cool, but majority of them, it takes a whole village. Like, it takes years for them to actually open up to foreigners. So that is the first thing. So if you if, if you come across something like this, don't take it as... In, it could happen at the church or the colleagues, like I said, or maybe school or something. They are more open to you when they go to school with you. That's how I see it. It's like they are okay to actually vibe and chill with you when they went to the same school with you. You are like an old classmate. Yeah, it's it's okay. But for them to open up to new people is difficult for them. And I don't blame them. That's how they are. So that is the first one. And the number two, it's rare to see Belgians on WhatsApp. <laughs> you know, this one, I actually have, it, it's actually debatable, okay? But the people that, are, like I said, it's my opinion, my experience, okay? And most, some of the things that my friends are saying, actually, okay? Belgians, it's hardly to, for you to find them on WhatsApp. No, 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 no. They don't do WhatsApp like that, you know? It's like, see how in China, they have, they have like WeChat in China, and Dubai also have their own WhatsApp, I was told. Belgians are not that WhatsApp people, you know? They are more into the Instagram, you know? It's it's my it's 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 how do I it might sound ridiculous and very f awkward, but trust me, they can give you their number. Oh, do you have a phone number? Can I have a phone number? Yeah, sure, I can WhatsApp you. But no, it's unlikely for you to meet them on WhatsApp. But trust me, the same message if you like, and if they are on Instagram, send the same message or copy it onto the Instagram, and trust me, within the next thirty minutes, like they'll reply. That's how they are. So, like I said, also, it's their way of living. Okay. If I want to compare, I don't want to always be comparing Ghana to, I mean, Africa to Europe. It's totally different. They are very totally different. Somebody also told me that in Holland, in in, uh, in Amsterdam, I mean, Holland, you know, they are more uh, friendly and all that compared to Belgium. And 
I've not been here, there yet. I have not lived there before, so I don't know what's until I've been there, then I can confirm. But I know my friends in Holland always this question, trust me. Belgians and Holland are like totally different. You understand? In Holland, I was told it's more people are very um, you know, they're very sociable and they are they are very easy open like they, they open up easily, you know. So here's that's the thing. So yeah, number two is WhatsApp. They don't they don't really do WhatsApp a lot here, you understand? Unless there is there is uh what's the word? There is an intention or there's a mission behind it. Why am I talking this? I'm talking about maybe it's about dating or going out or hookup or something like that. Yes, in that perspective or in that manner, yes, WhatsApp will work. But just like friend to friend, they have a WhatsApp to call you. No, they don't do that. What? And most of them don't even call. They, they will prefer to text you. You understand? So that is the number two, okay? Yes. And number three, uh, Belgians find it very hard to taste different food. Trust me, it's difficult for them to trust different... Um, taste different food I, I think it's more of a white thing you know like they just don't like the spice you know we africans we love to cook with spice and i think indians and africans have the same problem you know we like spicy food you understand and they just cannot stand it you understand they just can't stand it i remember when i came to belgium they always say oh crispin it's too spicy don't try it i'm like which pepper are you talking about and guess what they're talking about the black pepper i'm like come on that is not a black pepper go to africa we have the cayenne pepper there what's it called the scotch bonnet that's what we call pepper this black pepper is not pepper you understand so that is them they just don't like the spicy food so it's difficult for them to try african foods of course unless they live with you for a while and they get used to it they kind of like it. but in the beginning trust me it would take the whole village for them to actually even taste your food okay yes and the number four one is this look i, I was an english teacher okay I'm, i was a teacher of languages you understand so when i meet a student or somebody who doesn't speak english as a first language I have to, you know, tone it down to their level, okay? When I say level, I'm talking about their level of uh, proficiency, you know, in terms of English language, okay? So, if I meet somebody who doesn't speak English, I don't have to speak like a C1, C2. I have to come down to maybe A1 or A2, or maybe B1 or B2. Like, A1 or A2 is the beginners, and then the B1, B2 is the intermediates, and then the C1, C2 is the advanced, okay? So, if that person is not from Ghana or maybe Africa or an English-speaking country, I have to come down to their level for them to understand me, Okay? so in that way i can actually communicate with everybody in english okay but in belgium it's not like that you know it is not like that in belgium their dutch is dutch if you claim that you can speak dutch they just speak with you they speak with you they, they just don't even care if you came like you arrived today once you say i understand netherlands or of course in belgium the dutch is called netherlands okay like yeah that's how it is so if you tell them that hey listen i even arrived last week and you claim that you can speak netherlands they, they have nothing like tone it down to your the level. They speak like you are their classmate. They speak like you and them were like we're, we're living together, you know. That's how they are. So they just don't know how to tone it down. And like I said, it's not their fault. Probably my friends told me that it's from the school. They just don't know how to, like, they, their vocabularies and how they construct their sentences is a little bit tricky compared to English language. So I don't want to blame them. But I think it's, it's from the education system. So it's like that. So if you find this also... Don't, I mean, don't be, uh, what's the word? Don't, um, don't be alarmed, okay? And number five, Belgians like more to drink beer than to drink wine, you know? Yeah, they are more into beers than to drink wine. So if you're a, if you're a wine person, especially for you from South Africa, I live in South Africa before, you know, South Africa is all about wines, you know, going to wine tasting and all that. But in Belgium, it's more about beer, okay? So, like, personally, I have a problem with drinking beer because I, I'm not a beer person, okay? I'm more of a wine person, so... In the beginning, it was difficult for me to drink here because if all my friends are drinking beer and I'm, I'm going for a wine, they were like, Chris, but you're being so bougie right now. I'm like, no, I just want to, you know, that's what I like. That's what I want to drink, you understand? So that's the thing. So you're yeah, more into beers. So yeah, yeah, just into beers. They're not into um, the wine. They drink wine, of course, but it's more beer, 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 beer. Okay. Yes. Now let's jump to the next one. The next one is, don't be surprised if you see a lot of Belgians. Who go to the club only to listen to techno music yeah i know i know techno music is not an african thing it's not an, it's, it's not a black man's thing you know but yeah, in belgium the techno music is very big here yeah. like they they love it you can just see them on the street with their uh, what's called jbls with their bluetooth and it's like just like just killing the streets so they love techno music i mean for me personally techno music when i when i listen to it i i have headache you know so i just don't like techno music here yeah. but in belgium here yeah, techno music it's an ish thing. Like everybody, once you meet a Belgian person, what music do you like? The first thing they'll mention, like the first two is, I love techno music, you know? <laughs> so that is the thing about them also, okay? And yes, and 
And the last one for today, I want to talk about audience are not very outgoing people. I'm talking about like going out to the bar, to the club. They are not like that. They are not actually into that. You know how we Africans, we like to party every weekend? No. In Belgium, they don't like that. You know? like, they party, okay, but it's rare for them to see them at the bar or the club. No, they will just have to go to a tavern or maybe like a pub or just sit down to have a beer and just go back home and sleep. They don't know how to do that till they break. You know, I so say we Africans, we love to do the till bit, till like to, you know. Tell mama calls, you know, in Belgium, they don't just don't do those things, okay? Not because they don't, it's not there, it's there. But if you ask me personally, my personal opinion, I think Brussels is more uh, vibing, you know, than the Flanders side. Flanders are more calm people, calm province, I would put it that way. But in Brussels, the people and then the, like the people and then the province, they're all like very super hyper people. So that's the difference. So I hope this, my tips actually will help somebody who is just trying to make out so like, I'm not saying make out, I mean, Trying to get to know a Belgian person, okay? Um, don't take it personal. This is just a video, my opinion, okay? It's disclaimer. That's what I went through, okay? So, whatever uh, character or traits they portray to you, trust me, you really have to have patience and then read them. Sometimes you might just be, like, just be, I mean, gathering stuff into your mind, but for all you know, that's not what or what they are even thinking about. But in general, I would say it's a nice country and the people are very nice, trust me. It is just them, okay? Everybody cannot be like everybody, by the way, because you know we Africans, we are very, um, we are very, uh, very open and very that. But here, like I said, is different. So, especially, I'm making this video for the African people, especially because when we come, we have this problem a lot, and I, a lot of my friends have this problem. That's why I'm actually making this video. So, it's not generally for everybody, but that's the thing. So, if you are cool to keep your old friends from, um, if they come to foreign countries. If that's what you want to make like friends with your own people that's good but if you really want to stay with the belgian people trust me you, should, you really have to know this tip that i'm giving you guys because i've been here for three years and i've i've, I've kind of studied these things that's what i'm talking about them now i understand them in the beginning i was like maybe like you i couldn't also understand why their character or their you know their mannerisms is like that but yes i would say so in case you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe like and share and of course tell your friends and family that's yes very important for me and hey uh, this is just my opinion i'm just sharing you are just sharing okay share deal 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 so yes and of course um it's a nice place to come out to if you want to just like you know just chill and then just lend your ditch and they, they speak Dutch, but like i said the jet is not like the holland Dutch, you know so they are, in, in general they are nice people they are very, very nice people okay all right guys on to the next episode of crispy 360 i will see you guys for now i have to go and take my tea because it's almost late um yes my tea's almost here so let me just have a sip before i go so mm, yeah so on to my next episode of crispin 360 bye y'all